moving magnet versus moving coil cartridges. Now we're asked a lot about that and I've covered this before but I think it's worth going through again because every time we talk and give you new information on it you get a slightly different perspective from me since this is just you know off the cuff rambling as if you and I were just sitting here talking. So this question comes from Robert in Toronto, Canada. Paul, a while back I replaced my Shure M97XE moving magnet cartridge with a Denon DL103 moving coil cartridge coupled with a Rega Phono MC preamp. The difference was nothing short of stunning. As well as better high frequency response, I hear greater detail retrieval and a huge improvement in stereo image and sound with the moving coil. I did a lot of reading online and understand the difference between moving magnet and moving coil cartridges is related to inductance and the resulting magnetic field causing a resonance frequency, but would appreciate your take on how this improves sound quality so much. I suppose what you read is somehow accurate when you're looking at the various inductance. Surely the inductance of one versus the other is, is quite different, but uh, quite different. But I don't think that has anything to do with what you're hearing. So let's talk about the actual differences between a moving magnet cartridge and a moving coil cartridge. Now on our turntable, we've got this beautiful Lyra, um, I don't know how much this thing costs, but it was a lot of money. Uh, it's a moving coil. And I particularly like moving coils rather than moving magnets. There are other kind of cartridges too, like uh, the, the DECA uh, cartridge, you know, which is a, a whole different kind of uh, moving iron cartridge. I think that's what they call it. There's a strain gauge, there's variable reluctance. But the two main kinds that we're going to talk about are the moving coil and the moving magnet. So let's start with the basic one, the moving magnet cartridge. The cantilever, the needle on here, is basically this thin, lightweight, very stiff shaft with a diamond tip or some kind of tip of hard material, sapphire, diamond, whatever, uh, attached to it. And when you place that down, it spins around and it vibrates back and forth according to the, the grooves in the record. I mean, when we look at a record, um, here's a good one from Dire Straits. You know, we see this 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 cool uh, pattern, and you can, if, if I shine it in the light just right, you'll see how it's it reflects off there, and you can see all the, the little wiggles on there. Well, th these wiggles are, of course, containing the musical information, and they move. Uh, there's a spiral groove on here, and they move this cantilever this this needle back and forth attached to the end of the moving magnet cantilever the the shaft of it is a magnet and around that surrounding that are coils of wire and we know that when we move a magnet closer and farther away from a coil of wire the uh, an electrical uh, voltage is generated, right? It's how a, a, how a generator works. So if I, if I just take a coil of wire and I take a magnet and I start going like this and passing it, you know, to and fro, closer, farther away, like that, I can hook up a meter or an oscilloscope and I can actually see this motion because the magnetic field is inducing a current into this coil of wire. And that's the basis of this. And there's two coils of wire, and depending on how it moves up and down and sideways and all that, we get a stereo channel. Okay? Now this is a very traditional, standard way of uh, playing a record, is with a moving um, a magnet cartridge. The magnet sits atop the, the, the shaft, the needle, and there are coils surrounding it. A moving coil is kind of the opposite. 
attached to the top of the shaft instead of a magnet are coils of wire, very light coils of wire. And surrounding those, where formerly the coils sat, we now have magnets. And so instead of in a moving magnet cartridge where the magnet is where the coils are fixed and the magnet is moving closer and farther away from the coils, now the opposite is happening. The magnets are fixed, but the coils are moving closer and farther away from the fixed magnets. Electrically, they're identical. We don't really care, right? Whether magnets move closer to coils or coils move closer to magnets. It's at that point essentially semantics. But there is a difference. Mass. Magnets are made out of iron, ferrous material, and they are heavy. So a moving magnet cartridge has a big hunk of something, some kind of ferrous metal attached to its top, and therefore it has a lot of mass that's being swung around, and so it doesn't delicately trace the grooves of the record as well as something that had less mass. And little, tiny little coils of wire weigh a lot less, have a lot less mass than a moving, than, than a hunk of iron that's sitting on top of this thing, if that makes sense. So that's, that's one of the reasons, and probably one of the main reasons, why your moving coil sounds so much better than your moving magnet. Now, in engineering, nothing comes for free. It just doesn't happen. So a moving coil cartridge is a lot less sensitive to that movement than a moving magnet. And thus, the amount of voltage that comes out of a moving coil cartridge is far lower than what comes out of a moving magnet cartridge, generally speaking. And there's always you know, there's high output moving coils and blah, 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 blah. But generally speaking, there are about 30 times, 20 to 30 times lower output levels than a moving magnet. And so we need to have a moving coil step-up device, which is in the form of another transformer, or like when we do it, when we, in, in, at PS Audio, we have what's called a head amp. A, a, a 30 dB uh, additional gain stage, a gain stage with an additional 30 dB on there. But, uh, and then there's cartridge loading, you know, uh, because of this uh, inductance that, that you were talking about and the way that these things uh, are, are um, terminated. A moving coil cartridge is terminated with a very small resistor because of what you had originally talked about, where a moving magnet cartridge has a fairly high resistor, usually like 47,000 ohms, and a moving coil, 10, 10 ohms, 100 ohms. Very, very different in that. But that isn't why they sound so different. You, you, can, you can take a moving coil and you can pop that resistance off of there. You get an extended, the, the high end, the top end gets a little bright and exaggerated. Well, you certainly can't take a, a moving magnet cartridge and lower it down to 10 ohms, but you can do the opposite with a moving coil. Anyway, we're getting off kilter. So that's why they sound different. That's how they work. Okay, I hope that was good. I'll talk to you tomorrow.